morning, everybody. Today is a magical day. It is my shower today, my first bridal shower. My mom, my sister, my stepmom, my cousin, and my auntie all worked very hard to contribute to it. They won't let me in the basement yet to see it. Really excited though. Apparently they went with my country theme. Yesterday, Jasmine, Ashley, and I went to the Headingley Western Boot Shop and I got my bridal boots. I'm wearing them in right now. They kind of suit my lacy dress. I'll show you in a moment. I love them. They are boulets, my first ever pair of cowgirl boots. And I also bought Jasmine a pair because both of our dresses are in and ready for alterations. So we need the shoes that we are going to wear the day up. What do you think, guys? Am I country enough? Like my boots? My dress? Got it online. Ordered it a couple months ago. Had to order it three times because I kept ordering too big a size. Alrighty, so people have begun to arrive, so now I am allowed to see the basement. Let's go down. We can go right down, absolutely. Oh, it's so pretty. Jasmine's best friend from high school made these mason jar cookies just for the shower with a G on them for geese breck. Oh, so pretty. Do you like them? Thanks, Jazz. Courtesy of my amazing stepmom. You even use the short and curvy Barbie like me. Oh, it's so pretty. And cupcakes. Probably courtesy of my sister, I'm guessing. Oh, really? My stepmom's awesome. Thanks, Sin. On my knee. There's some bridesmaid. Uh, no, not like. Oh, go push your feet. Okay. Yeah. I'm scared. Yeah. That's okay. They're soft ceilings. Oh! <laughs> oh shoot! <laughs> Had such a fun time at my bridal shower. The girls did an amazing job, really good memories. The gifts were really sweet and generous. Now I'm at Dad and Cynthia's new campground for family day. So Thanks. let's go see your new campsite, Daddy. On the way. The new digs. They just moved across the highway to a nicer campsite. <laughs> Much nicer. Well, I'm yet to see it. Jasmine and the boys are also here today. After all that hard work, Jasmine's now taking some much needed R&R with the kids. The boys were here all night with dad, right? Yep. Yep. They're what a good nuts. grandpa. Oh yeah, they're such hard kids to deal with. Here we are, Cynthia's signature sunflowers. I saw those at Dollarama yesterday. I was going to get some. Come on, Frank. There's the Chevy. There's the Chevy. <laughs> Brand new trailer here. Oh wow, this is a pretty big site. Fancy. Really oh really my. Fun. Come on, Frank. Oh wow. So we're putting a shower in here. A shower? Oh, like an outdoor shower? Right here, yeah. Cool. Awesome idea. You have one of those outside rinsing stations kind of deal? Oh, perfect. So do we on ours. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Want to give me a tour inside? Okay. 
take off my sunglasses. Oh my. Wow, this is spacious. More spacious than it even looked in pictures. Oh, this is where the bedroom is. Mm -hmm. Oh, so cool. And then this is where a TV would go? Yeah, but we don't want one yet. No. No, Dad doesn't like TVs with camping. He doesn't feel like it's really camping then. Very yeah, nice. Stereo, that matters. Yeah, stereo. Dad always needs his tunes. The dining area. Couch over there. Dining area. Bunk beds. The bathroom. It even has a little tub. Mm -hmm. Oh my. For kids. Yeah. Or really, really short people. Yeah. Very nice. I've always called those man caves. There's their own personal man room. caves. Yeah. The bunk beds. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Frankie, what do you think? It smells delightful. Frankie approved. What you eating? A croissant. With? Peeny. Peeny? Peeny booter? You too? Is it good? Right on. We just got back from a walk and a little play at the park at the campsite across the way. Check this out. Cynthia and Dad have no, a no, 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 no. Tupperware fire Not pit. Dad. Not Dad? Not Dad? No, he's not proud of it. Cynthia has a bucket head. <laughs> has a Tupperware fire pit. Ooh. That is so cool. I'm going home soon, bucket head. See you soon. Just got back home here. I just finished Unloading the truck with all kinds of random stuff from my mom's that I still haven't moved out of there and I still have tons of stuff there um, Bridal shower gifts and clothing and duffel bag and it goes on and on and on On my way home from my dad's campsite I actually got stopped for the first time at a check stop. I've never been through a check stop in my entire life it was like a big surprise. I was like, what's the protocol? What do I do? I wasn't too nervous because I hadn't been drinking or anything, but you know, he asked me if I'd had any drinks today. I said, well, yeah, I had a mimosa at my shower this morning. Um, you know, he congratulated me. Really, really nice cop. Knew I hadn't been drinking and whatever, let me go. But I was like, wow, you know, I'm, I'm almost 28 years old. I've never even seen a check stop before. It's crazy. Wanted to show you guys some of the stuff I brought home with me from the shower. Now, there was a um, communal gift, and everyone gave something to my sister to help pay for it. They actually got us a brand spanking new, beautiful barbecue. And I obviously wasn't able to bring it home alone because it's like 170 pounds. It weighs much more than I do, and I would have broken myself and probably the truck trying to get it out and bring it home. But here is a lovely garden decoration. I have a thing for frogs, have since I was a little girl. So my aunt Nat and my cousin Ashley got me this <laughs> along with, you know, contributed to the, the barbecue, but I love it. Thank you girls, if you're watching. Love, love, love it. It's definitely gonna go in my next year's garden. I don't plan to garden this year with everything going on with the wedding and such. It's a little busy. They got us a really nice set of Weber barbecue utensils, like a flipper and all that. Really awesome because the ones that we have are just like cheap Walmart brand ones. They were like 88 cents in the States for each utensil. And uh, they're starting to not rust, but like, I don't know, they're just not the best quality. They also got us a barbecue cover. That is a must, especially with a brand new barbecue. Nobody wants that going anywhere. Got me some rooster oven mitts. I 
love roosters in kitchens. I want a rooster themed kitchen and Josh has agreed to it. So that'll be in the future. And I think I already showed this to you guys, but um, earlier today, everyone who attended my bridal shower, um, there was a picture of Josh and I in the center here that came, that went with our invitations to everybody. It was my mom's copy, so she took it back and I'm gonna put a picture that was taken at the shower. But yeah, all the girls put on lipstick and kissed it and left a little, a little sweet message. And so I'm definitely going to be putting that up on the, uh, on the wall. Not sure where yet, but it's going up. It's pretty special. I also received a really beautiful pair of Tupperware pans. They're like top of the line. My stepmom has them, like the entire set. She got me like the small pan and the big pan. Josh isn't allowed to cook with them because he wrecks pans. Shh. Just kidding, maybe I'll let him touch them. I'll remove all metal objects around him first so we can only use rubber and plastic spatulas on it. Please excuse all my mess behind me. Lots and lots of bridal shower stuff. Like I said, they just sent me home with everything. And Here you go, you take care of it. But yeah, I forgot the pans at my mom's. They were from my, my stepmom and my dad. She also got me a really nice um, mixing bowl set with lids on them. Uh, anyone who buys Tupperware, and I'm sure a lot of you do, because Tupperware has been around since the dawn of the dinosaurs, I'm pretty sure. Um, uh, yeah, a beautiful like mixing bowl set, like from little to, you know, goes down to like the big mamma jamma mother. It's like, wow. Don't even know if I can hold it. <laughs> but yeah, I accidentally left like my gift from dad and Cynthia at mom's, but not a big deal. It's safe at my mom's place. I would just like to have used it tomorrow or you know, sometime in the next week, but gonna have to wait. Something to look forward to. Wiener, wiener. Did you have fun at grandma's? Yeah, you did? Yeah. And did you have fun at Grandpa's campground? Grandpa and Nana's? Yeah? Oh, apparently so. Wants a belly rub. Oh, my boy. What a sweet wiener. Mitzi and Frank were pretty good. Mitzi was pretty excited at the campground, but she's all burnt out now, aren't you? Aren't you, Mitzi Lou? Why are you playing shy? Frankie, you camera hog. So thanks so much for watching everybody. Um, I know it was a very eclectic mix of videos today or video footage today. I had a super busy day, but as Josh would say, it was super duper. Uh, I felt so special today. Everybody made me feel so loved and you know, so adored and like, it, it was so nice. I mean, everyone likes feeling like that once in a while. And yeah, it was, it was just, it was really, really nice. And uh, you know, there were a few people missing today, but uh, that's okay. I mean, life happens, right? Like, I don't expect everybody to show up. I know I certainly haven't shown up to everybody's bridal showers and stagettes and even weddings. I mean, life gets in the way sometimes. So sometimes you just have to prioritize or you have to work, you know. Jobs, I guess, are important if you want to pay bills. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching, everybody. Have a good night.